if the matrix you are working with doesn't have all the rows and columns that you need or that you should have uh, you have to fix it and there are several ways to fix it I'm gonna go over one form that is really simple and can be applied anytime you have very few rows and, and columns missing so uh, let's do it so this is a matrix with several cores and I'm gonna do for and every time you do for one core you do for all right so let's go to matrix export select all this the first line should be selected select all matrices press ok change to DBF I always use a name here of a file name that is something that I know this trash that it was just a temporary file dump trash dummy any any name and I like to use uh, funny names to, to really stand up when I'm looking at my files press save yes and here we are now we want to add two rows and two columns so add it add records 2 press ok from 7 to 7 and from 8 to 8 that's it we go to data view import into matrix creating a new matrix press next row id rows column id calls next select these trace three matrices finish and save this new matrix with all rows and columns yes okay here we have all the matrices we needed with all the rows and all the columns you can close this dbf you can delete if you want you can even delete the previous uh, matrix file if you want to it doesn't all the information that exists here is in our new file that's it you can go on with your project good luck